Winter is coming and with that comes the inevitable challenge of getting your vehicle winter ready. Today we're going to be talking about how to get your vehicle ready for the winter months to ensure that you and your family stay safe and enjoy hassle-free driving. First thing you're going to want to do to get your vehicle winter ready is to check your battery. A car's battery becomes less efficient in cold temperatures. It is very frustrating to try to start your vehicle in the middle of winter only to find out that your battery is dead. Before winter even begins, it is recommended to go and get your battery tested. On the top and the side of your battery, it will show what your battery is rated for for the cold cranking amps. So if you go and get it tested and it shows that it is less than what it's supposed to be or it shows on the tester that there is a problem with your battery, it is recommended to get it replaced. Also on the battery, it should show a year of how old the battery is. And I would honestly recommend if the battery is over five years to go and get it replaced because normally after five years, usually you'll start to experience problems with your battery, especially in the winter. Making sure that your battery is up to par and it is putting out the right cold cranking amps that you need for the winter. It ensures that you're going to have no problems with your battery and no problems starting your vehicle this winter. Next, look at your tires. You want to make sure that your tires are going to be good for the winter. If you do check them and you notice that the tires are starting to wear and the tread is starting to wear on your tires, then it's recommended that it's time to replace your tires. Ideally, it is best to go with winter tires as they have the right rubber compounds and they have a better traction for the winter months. However, you can go with a good set of all seasons. As long as you do have good tires on your vehicle, it will make it easier driving in the winter, regardless of if you have all seasons or winter tires. If you are running with tires that have no tread, you are gonna be sliding around a lot this winter. It is also important to check your tire pressure throughout the winter because in the colder months, the tire pressure in your tires will go lower and you will need to top them up to make sure you have the right traction whenever you're out driving. And of course, in the spring, you might have to take out some air for your tires, but that is the normal thing with your tires. Next, you're gonna want to make sure that you check your antifreeze levels. Antifreeze keeps your engine running smoothly even in the colder months. Simply check your owner's manual to see what type of antifreeze your vehicle requires and make sure it's topped up for the winter. Next, you're gonna to want to make sure that you check your wiper blades. You want to make sure that your wipers are in good condition and that the rubber is not wearing or cracked because that will become a hassle in the winter. And make sure that they do clear your windshield completely and that they're not streaking or skipping sections. If they are, definitely go ahead and replace them before the start of winter. Also consider investing in winter wipers. They are designed to work better in colder temperatures and also clear off snow easier for your vehicle. Obviously, before you start driving, make sure you clear off any snow or ice that is already on your windshield. That will definitely make your windshield wipers last longer. And if there's snow or ice built up on your actual wipers, make sure you clear that before attempting to use your wipers. I've seen a lot of cases where people just get in their vehicle and turn on their wipers and the rubber gets ripped off because it was actually frozen to the windshields and it never got cleared off. So make sure you clear off the snow and ice before starting and using your wipers. It is also important to have your winter washer fluid in your vehicle. If you do have the summer washer fluid, obviously it can freeze and then you're not gonna be able to use it. I personally use a washer fluid for the winter that has five times the de-icer. So for me, it just blasts through the ice, but it also makes it easier to remove snow off the windshield and keep my windshield nice and clean while I'm driving. Regardless of what type of winter washer fluid you choose, most of them are rated for minus 20 to minus 40 for the temperatures. So if you live in an area where it does get colder, it's recommended to go with the lowest possible temperature for your vehicle because in case the temperature ever drops, if you only choose the minus 20, if it goes below minus 20, your washer fluid can still freeze. Lastly, you want to make sure that you and your vehicle are ready in case of an emergency. You should keep a blanket, flashlight, flares, food, and a first aid kit in your vehicle. To me, that's not just for the winter, that's at all times, but it is definitely helpful in the winter and you might need it during the winter. Also make sure that your vehicle is always fueled up. Most people don't let their tank go below half full in the winter in case of an emergency. 
It is also ideal to have roadside assistance for you or your vehicle. Some plans are for you, so it doesn't matter what vehicle you drive, you are covered. Some plans are for your vehicle, so it doesn't matter who's driving your vehicle, your vehicle is covered. Not only is that helpful all year rounds, but in the winter, if you do get stuck in the ditch or whatever happens in a case of emergency, you can get towed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about how to get your vehicle winter ready. I hope this winter is not going to be too rough, but now you guys know a couple things to check and get your vehicle ready for this winter. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay safe out there. Peace.